guys welcome back to the channel my name is Chris and I'm just another review guy and on today's review we're gonna be checking out the rock rocker pressure washer got this on Amazon for $169.99 at the time of purchase but before we get into the review let's go ahead and do a quick little box opening so you can see how the item will get shipped to you and we'll be right back all right guys so let's go ahead and get the box opened on the pressure washer we got off Amazon so you can kind of see what you're gonna expect if you buy a similar one and what we need to do to put it together. I haven't opened it yet, so we're about to do that now. All right, and the top is a bunch of screws and the instruction booklet. We have the carrier with the pressure washer tips. We have the uh, pressure washer wand, which we'll give this a try to see how it works and then we'll switch over to a better one. The metal wand got the pressure washer hose we got a little baby soap applicator maybe we'll give this a try maybe not all right guys that's all that comes in the box we have quite a long extension cord for the uh, pressure washer got the handle pretty self-explanatory the handle well, should be self-explanatory. Slides forward. All right, guys, so that was the box and opening of our pressure washer. I'll go ahead and get it put together, and then we'll give it a test. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Since we did that little box opening, putting this pressure washer together isn't too difficult. Took a few screws, pretty self-explanatory, easy to put together. This pressure washer is advertised with 1800 watts of power, max PSI is 3500, 2.6 gallons per minute, which we're gonna test. Fortunately, I can't test the pressure because I don't have pressure gauge yet for testing, but it's on order and we'll do that in the future. This has a total stop system. When you let off the trigger, the pump instantly stops. We'll see how that affects the hose pressure or feed back into your home. And it also comes with a 26 foot pressure hose, which we will measure that. So in today's review, guys, we're gonna fire this up, see how it runs, we'll check the decibels, we'll test the gallons per minute, we'll measure the hose, make sure you got 26 feet of length. Also comes with a pretty long extension cord, probably your standard 35 footer. Comes with the wand, which has I don't know, I consider it a cheap old system. It has this little tab you push in and thing pops out. You put that in. Now I was watching a review on the Chemical Guys pressure washer and this has the same exact setup. So must be some industry standard now. Usually when I buy a high pressure washer, it has the screw here, but probably can add that in. Let's go ahead guys and get testing. Guys, let's go and test the machine. Let's get it plugged in, get the hose plugged in get it primed we'll see how loud the machine is and we will see how well it can wash off some wheels guys so this pressure washer also comes with a soap applicator which we'll get a closer view of it it's a soap applicator not a foam cannon we'll test it out see how well it sprays see what kind of pattern we're getting with the soap coming out of it it also comes with your standard pressure washer tips. The green one's already plugged in to the gun, but you also get an orange, red, and a white one. 40 degree spray, zero. Always fun to spray your brother in the face with that. 15 degree, but there's no soap applicator. There's no soap applicator uh, nozzle tip, but you do got the soap applicator container. So it's probably why it doesn't come with the black tip. All right, guys, this is the decimal reading, seven feet away. Now the machine says it's rated at 93 decibels. So we had 72, 74 decimals, seven feet away from the machine, which isn't bad. I believe the Ryobi is a lot louder than that, but I think the Ryobi puts out a lot more pressure. All right, guys, so we just tested the decimal of the machine, came out about 74, which is about 20 lower than what the machine's rated at. Not sure if it's my reader or if it's the machine, but the machine is fairly quiet. So let's go ahead and test the gallons per minute. We got a bucket with the gallons on it. So we will run it for one minute and see what happens. All right, guys, let's test the GPM. We got our bucket here with our gallons on the side and liters. We're gonna do the test with 
the green 25 degree nozzle in place. Okay, we did stop it at the one minute mark with a 25 degree nozzle hooked in. It did one gallon per minute. All right guys, now we're gonna try the test without a nozzle, just an open end. So we'll run it for a minute and we'll see how many gallons we get. Bucket. Okay, we stopped the gun at the minute mark. In one minute, we have seven liters of water, a little over gallon and a half, probably gallon and three quarters. Without the nozzle, we get almost double the water flow. All right guys, so the pressure hose measures out 26 feet exactly. It's one of the cheaper hoses where if it kinks, it kind of keeps the memory. It's not too bad compared to some of the other cheap ass hoses you buy on Amazon. I bought a couple 50 footers once for pressure washing and they were terrible. This is a pretty stiff hose. It will kink on you, uh, but uh, when you unkink it, it doesn't keep the memory, at least not right now. This hose is rated at 2320 PSI, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It's made by Yunji Water Cleaning Hose. So decent 26 foot, definitely enough to get around the car and with the 35 foot power cord you definitely have enough space to pull the compressor around if you need to if it if i was going to use this all the time i'd probably upgrade to a 50 foot super flex hose one of those flexible ones the yellow or green ones you see on amazon i can't remember the name but they're easy to look up all right guys the next thing we're testing on this pressure washer is the accessory that comes with it it is the soap applicator not a not a foam cannon, just a soap applicator. What I'm gonna use is some of the limited edition uh, blueberry snow foam wash from Chemical Guys. I have it laying around amongst other stuff. We're gonna go ahead and put, I don't know, let's put three good squirts in there. You know, let's just put four, screw it. There we go. We'll top it off with some water and then we will try it on the wheels of the Porsche and see how well uh, it applicates soap. All right guys, when you use the applicator that's provided with the machine, you have to remove the wand and you plug it into the handle and it sits at an awkward angle not really sure I know why because it's cheap but that's how it sits so when you hold the gun level when you're pulling the trigger that's how it's gonna sit just like that all right let's go and spray some soap with this and see what it looks like all right guys all right guys, there's no adjustment, if you can see. The fan is how it is, so. Probably wouldn't use it too much on my car since I got actual foam cannons, but doing like uh, patio furniture and whatnot might be pretty good for doing outdoor stuff. Let's get the wheels rinsed off guys and let's try the pressure washer now with the 25 degree tips. All right guys, we got the 25 degree tip plugged in. I would highly suggest before you pull the trigger, especially pointing at your car, that you make sure that the tip's in because for some reason, whenever you pop the tip in, it likes to blow out unless you make sure it's in there. So let's go and get this soap off my car. All right guys, so the main reason for me even getting out of the pressure washer is to replace the Ryobi one that I used to have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it with a real foam cannon. This one's from Hourly. Uh, I did a review on this a couple of videos back. We'll be using the Chemical Guys Snowball Sticky. And what we'll do is we'll just put like three generous squirts in the bottle. 
maybe four, and then we'll top it off with water, okay guys? All right guys, so we got our snow foam cannon hooked up. We will crank it all the way to the right for maximum soap. And we'll adjust the fans uh, when we start spraying. Actually, the adjustment, guys, is all the way to the negative. Um, for less water, more soap. Sticky snowball soap's pretty good. Has nice, thick, foamy soap. A little bit runny, uh, but I didn't really adjust it perfectly, so this little pressure washer will run the foam cannon. Now this foam cannon has the 1.2 orifice in it, by the way, it's been updated for a smaller pressure washer because when I was using the Ryobi ones, I'd have to always put the orifice in just to get a little bit thicker foam. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video. This little rock rocking machine, it does okay. Um, I'd probably end up spending a little bit more money and get a better Ryobi electric one. And I probably will. But as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Links to the products you've seen in the video will be in the description below. Uh, they are affiliate links. I gotta say that because of YouTube. So if you buy anything, I make a couple pennies. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.